I have one of these Nutra bullets here and I used it for quite a few years and it worked really well. I was super impressed with the amount of torque this motor had and I think I ended up just over loading it one too many times and it eventually started smelling of the burnt electronics and so I know I burnt the motor out but I was always curious how big this motor is just given the small amount of size and what seems to be such a massive amount of torque. So I thought I would just take it apart here today and take a look and see. Now I'm anticipating that inside the coil has kind of shorted out because that's exactly what it behaves like and it did work for man I probably had it for two years three years maybe so I got a lot of use out of it and I was impressed with uh, the qualities ever since the beginning and even right at the very end it still would kind of work probably got four or five extra times out of it before it died for good and then I just figured it was probably wasn't worth it and I did buy another one and I bought a newer model which of course has Bluetooth in it not sure exactly what the Bluetooth is even doing I never bothered to hook it up but the new one is significantly louder I mean we're talking um, probably twice as loud which I am also very disappointed in now I think the newer one had a uh, greater wattage I knew when I originally purchased it what it was, but it's been a couple months now. And this here has been sitting on the counter for quite some time. And I finally am now getting around to taking it apart. All right, so that is a lot of screws deep in there. So let me get those out and I'll return once I've got it apart. And it's been disassembled. A lot more engineering went into this than you would think and the most difficult part to get apart was this little guy here that holds on to the cup that goes on top and spins now this was directly pressed onto the shaft here and I thought well I'll just get something and pry it up and it'll pop right off well there was no amount of prying that was going to get that off in the end I ended up taking a chisel and actually cutting this piece plastic piece in half so if you're concerned about this spinning off while you're using it I don't think that's justified I don't know what type of plastic this is it's it's really soft or it's really hard but not brittle and it almost has like a like a softness to it at the same time it's uh quite interesting and as to be expected there was a tremendous amount of screws there was just screws everywhere holding every little piece together and we'll take a look at this a little um motor on the inside in a second Around the outside was this nice little aluminum case and then underneath that was this plastic case and then this sat in here and this sat on the bottom and then there's this original piece that I took off. So a tremendous amount of plastic parts and brushed aluminum parts. We'll just move these over here that goes into this. And then let's take a look at this motor. Now two, or one interesting thing that I noticed is that these were the switches that prevented it from starting without the cap or without the top being pressed on. And it has two limit switches. And as you can see, there are only two, even though there were three of these. So one of these was not actually a switch and it just had a bare little plug into it where the other two did. Uh, now we'll notice if you take a look at this, if we pull all the way apart, the those limit switches are directly in line with the power that came in on the ground on the negative or the neutral. And so both of these have to be pressed. So they're just in series in order for it to start. Kind of a neat little design and there's no other internal switch to it. It's just both of these have to be on and it's just going straight across the 110 volts uh, uh, current on it. Now this sits this way in the device. This is the top and I see it does have a uh, clip on there, which is probably holding, um, something oh it's probably holding the shaft at that exact height and then on the bottom this is the very very bottom this sticks out you can actually see this if you look at it from the bottom of the device it just has a fan directly over the uh, shaft for the motor and so there's the the windings now I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to AC motors but I know this is a beast of a motor. You can just tell by looking into it and seeing the amount of windings that it is. I'm going to go ahead and try to take some of these mounting components off. It looks like I can get a few of them off and then maybe we can see that motor a little bit better. 
Well, that's as far as I can get it apart. I managed to take a few of the screws off, but honestly, there's just no way to get these parts, these parts off. These are all pressed fit on, and I don't have any way of getting them off. And then on this end here, there's a screw, but I couldn't have any luck budging it, and I don't know if it would matter anyway. It's definitely put together and built, so it would never come apart. And it is um, just amazing what they're able to fit into such a small pack. And you can take a look at some of the AC motor on the inside, all the enamel coating on it. I mean, it's just very, very, very well done. And uh, it's, I mean, it took a lot for me to even short that out. But as you can see, this is just an extremely well-built motor and not designed to be serviced in any stretch of the imagination. I can't imagine anything on here that would uh, break that you'd want to fix. Of course, in my case, I shorted the motor out or burnt the motor out more appropriately, which is probably how all of these are going to eventually end in the end. Now, I guess technically one of the limit switches could go, but honestly, I don't think there's any chance these limit switches are ever going to wear out. They're rated for 110 volts AC as well. So anyway, if you've got one of these and you're concerned about maybe the top coming off because it looks like it's plastic, <laughs> I can tell you, do not worry about that. It's not going anywhere. And I think in general, just use it until it gets burnt out and then go replace it with another one. Like I said, just uh, really impressed with the engineering on what they've done to put this together.